I think we're gonna move to Zanzibar. Just done some shopping. Well, actually, we walked around the market. Then we went to a local restaurant for lunch, and then we popped into a supermarket to try and find some cheaper food um, for dinner. So we're not just eating out the whole time. And um, now we just need going to one more place to get soap and hopefully some carrots to add to our spaghetti. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We are taking a walk to find a place to print some documents because we need to go to the South African Embassy just to do some things for my Irish, Irish immigration application and then we also need to pop into the Ethiopian Embassy to try and get a hard copy visa. Um, so hopefully we find a place to do some printing and then that's where we'll be heading this morning. Those are our plans for today. Today has been pretty successful, I would say. We first went to the South African Embassy because we booked an uh, appointment for 9 o'clock. Which made no difference. No, it didn't really make a difference because they forgot. <laughs> so we got all our things, our documents certified. And then we walked to, oh, we took a tuk tuk to DHL. And then we were able to career all the documents that we needed to back to South Africa. And this is all basically for my Irish application. Um, so that's good news. Yeah, anyway, we're going to a supermarket now. And, oh, there it is. We found an ice cream parlor as a treat. Right there. Never mind. It was closed. <laughs> no ice cream. Hopefully the supermarket has ice cream. Well, they should have. But yeah, we're going to get some um, stock, like some snacks and two minute noodles and that sort of thing for Zanzibar because we've heard it's quite a lot more expensive on the island. So. <sighs> what a day! <laughs> Successful? But tiring. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, <laughs> now we need to go back to the hostel. Back on bags. Yeah, so we're very excited that we get to go to Dan's Park today. At least that be very cool. Yeah, so we don't have to buy it and pay for another nice accommodation here. So that's very cool. But yeah, it has been a long day. Phew! We made it on the tuk tuk. <laughs> now we need to get to the ferry before the ferry leaves. Let's hope we get there. Well, this turned out to be a scam. When we arrived at the port, these guys told us they worked for the ticket office, despite confirming several times about not having to pay them. They proceeded to demand an excessive amount of money before we could board the ferry, which we refused to pay. We made it to the ferry, we bought a ticket. Just in time, honestly, like just in time. We made it on board. <laughs> that was intense. Oh my God. The ferry to Zanzibar was surprisingly smart and professional. It did, however, cost 40 US dollars for tourists, which was super unexpected. It's going good. Nice and comfy. I'm watching a movie. What movie? I have no idea. I don't even think it's in English. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we made it. Welcome to Zanzibar. Yeah. Now we need to find our couch surfing host 
and she lives in a place called Moon Bernie, but we don't know her house address. So we're basically just going to Moon Bernie and then... And then we're waiting because uh, okay. WhatsApp is only, ha only has one tick. Yeah. So, so yeah. that's great. It's going to be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're here, so it's Yeah. We found it! <laughs> well, not yet. <laughs> well, we know the people. I mean, well, we've met one of the people that knows this lady. So. <laughs> huh? And we're here. And we have our own bedroom and bathroom. Our host is so nice and yeah. friendly. Yeah, we're very happy. So we're happy. So excited to be here. Yeah. And we can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, so we're spending three nights here and we'll explore around Stone Town for the next few days. But tonight we just decided to chill and just relax a bit. Yeah, I'm so tired. I'm going today was a long day. Yeah. yeah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Good morning. We <laughs> we are on a little stroll this morning. We're going through to Stone Town. Um, yeah. We had a nice lazy morning. Yeah, it's like half past two already. <laughs> yeah, so we don't have much planned. We're just strolling through, going to see what there is in town to do. Yeah. And yeah, maybe yeah. go for dinner at the market. Yeah, see what the market's about. Our host might join us for dinner after work, so that'll be nice. When strolling through the streets of Stone Town, you get to see historical landmarks such as the Portuguese Arch. You will also find many local artists selling jewellery, trinkets and beautiful paintings. You can truly feel the culture among these streets. Deserved ice cream. Yeah. Lots of walking around. <laughs> Lots of walking actually. But it's been good. It's been very nice. Taking breaks in the shade. <laughs> now we deserve some ice cream. I got mango. You got cappuccino. Yeah, cappuccino. Always the best. So good. Mm -hmm. Refreshing. <laughs> Stonetown has recently become known for the Zanzibar boys who do crazy jumps off the pier every day at sunset. They were incredible to watch while we waited for the famous Furudani food market to open. Sambusa, garlic bread, naan bread, chapati, and a coconut bread. We have uh, some chicken, lemon, tandoori chicken, normal chicken. This is a duck. How's 
Very good. good. Top notch. Nice and spicy. <laughs> Happy with the ice cream. So happy. <laughs> Let me taste. Mm, so good. So good. How can you not? <laughs> yeah, we can't keep Star away from ice cream. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> We've got a little tour this morning. And yeah. We're gonna go to Prison Island, check out the rest of Stone Town, the slave market. We weren't going to, but then the hundredth person that came to us today <laughs> to ask us if we wanted a tour. We we were asking them all their prices and stuff, and this guy actually had a really good deal because he included the whole history of Stone Town and the slave market and, and a trip to Prison Island. And in, snorkeling. And snorkeling. So um, yeah, it's worth it, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And um, we were going to do it on our own this morning, like Stone Town, but um, we probably wouldn't have. We would have just yeah. tried to make our. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really know our history and where to yeah. go and stuff like that. So, so. this is nice. Yeah. And it's just us two. It's not like a huge tour. So. Yeah. So yeah. we're on our way to go meet JJ. Yeah. These fascinating wooden doors are an iconic part of Old Town Stone Town. Fun fact, the spikes originate from India and were used to stop wild elephants from pushing through the doors. Along the tour, we popped into a small local school where the kiddies sang to us. In the 19th century, Zanzibar streets were filled with slaves tens of thousands, accounting for two-thirds of the population. Slavery had always been part of the East African society, however during the 19th century it grew into a business, and by 1860 residents from all levels of society were benefiting from the slave-based economy. Even slaves who earned wages invested in their own slaves. Zanzibar was the centre of operations for the East African slave trade. The Zanzibar market was the emporium of the region where many thousands of slaves passed through annually. Up to several hundred slaves would be available to purchase daily. On arrival in Zanzibar, owners of the slaves were obliged to pay tax on each slave imported. After customs, they were taken to the market or another location to prepare them for the sale. Often up to 50 men or 70 women cramped into underground rooms waiting in chains. This church is seen as a sense of hope and positivity, replacing the negative, heartbreaking time in history. The church is still used every Sunday.
So that is the whipping post where they, before the church, it used to be the slave market. So it's behind the altar. Obviously, we can't go there, but this is what it looks like over there. So this is the actual place where all the slaves used to be sold, and now they've changed it into a church to... Replace the negative with the positive. Yeah. And the church is so beautiful. We're going to Prison Island. This is our little boat. We've got to go all the way out to the island. Over there. Very exciting. Excited to see the tortoises as well. Oh, there's some rain coming outside, so hopefully we get in. You can just keep feeling Hello. <laughs> can you hold him? Yeah. Okay. Hi. This is Babu. He's 198. We got another one coming. Ah! <laughs> hello, hello. Okay. All your wrinkly skin. <laughs> Cute. I want one. Feel it. It's cool. It's like massage his neck. I am. Careful okay, your fingers. I am watching. Ah! Ah! It's like that piece. Mmm. Yeah, that's too. These are Aldebra tortoises. Fun fact, four of them were gifted to the owner of the island by the British governor of Seychelles. They thrived on the island, building a population of 200 plus tortoises until the late 20th century when they were stolen for sale as pets or food. Thankfully, conservation efforts are regrowing the population and we are able to see them today. We're a long way from home. Too far. Only 1,564 miles. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to leave Prison Island. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, we really enjoyed seeing the tortoises. They were so cute, and you could like rub them and scratch them and stuff. They were the Galapagos, Galapagos, Galapagos tortoises. The oldest one was 198 years, years old, and the biggest one was 300 kgs. How insane! And he's 150 years old. So. Yeah. It was really cool. Really um, yeah, we enjoyed that. The the actual prison was like kind of okay. It's very small. Yeah. Um, so they, it was a, it's a, it was built as a prison, but it was never used as a prison. Yeah, never yeah. used as a prison. They used it as a quarantine place for basically yellow, yellow fever and like diseases and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go for a nice little snorkel now. Thank goodness, because I'm so hot. So. Yeah. And then our trip is done. Yeah, but it's been really amazing. Are you ready for a scuba, a snorkel? I'm ready! Let's see. How do I get in? <laughs> yeah, just flop forward. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Very graceful. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> oh, I know it. That's oh, cool. Finding a lot of trinkets. <laughs> nah, that was like. Okay. Yeah. 
Whoa, these are so cool. There's another one. How's it going? Going good, loving it. It's better than Thailand, hey? Oh, look, the fish, there's so many fish, it's so cool. I wish we had a GoPro. Same. I'm gonna oh. see if I can go find you some more treasure. Okay, enjoy. <laughs> is so cool oh my word the reef here is beautiful so much better than thailand like the water is clear 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 sand is white so many different fish beautiful colors oh it's so beautiful but i was getting like a little tingling on my skin and my ears sometimes get sore when water goes inside so i came out but as you can see behind me lance is having an absolute blast he loves that he's in his element. More treasure. <laughs> what is it? It's a sea urchin. Oh. What about the spiky things? That's cool. You're having fun. A lot of fun. That's good. It's really cool. I really like this place. You want to stay here forever? Forever. I think we're going to move to Zanzibar. You this is cool. <laughs> I'm joking. Take your time, my angel. Have fun. I'm having a blast. Good. <laughs> hey, watch. Yeah. <laughs> So graceful. So graceful. Woo. How's that? That was very cool. <laughs> That's good. Very happy. There was stuff that was like stinging us in the water. Yeah, I know. I don't know what it is. Are we done? We're done. Ready to go back and eat some food? Yes. Looks good. Let's try. <laughs> so what are we having? This is called a Z Zanzibarian mix. Not quite sure what everything is. I think it's potato. Um, I don't know what this is. Some kind of soup. Yeah, this, this is called bagia. And then this like white stuff is a chutney. And yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> How does it mm. say? <laughs> it's quite sour. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't love it? Alright. I'll get some more. Let's see. Mm. Sour. You enjoying your ice water. ice water? Just chilling on our balcony. So we're moving to Zanzibar. Um, it's been nice. <laughs> I think maybe Jambiani Beach will be better. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's been very interesting. So. Yeah, we've enjoyed Stone Town. Mm, it's been really cool to see everything. It's really cool to see the difference. Well, it'll be nice to see the difference between the old town and the new town. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And if you enjoyed Stone Town, don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment below. <laughs> Tell us in the comments what you like about our videos. Help us make them better and click the bell notification yes, thing. Yes, we see that so many of you are subscribed to us but aren't viewing us uh, or our videos, which means you're not, not getting, getting notified. Yeah, yeah, so click the little bell and that'll make sure to send you a message when we've posted our next video. 